What's up, everybody? I'm gonna show you guys my water shark exes deck. You like waters? You like fishies? You like exes? Got you a deck right here. Let's get to it. So, we play three buzzsaw sharks. This is the best card of the deck. What it does is I can target another. I can target water monster control, including himself, and special summon a fish of that same level. So our normal target himself, and special summon a level four fish. Now to be going to lantern shark. Now it can't activate its effects, but at least its other effects are still there though. So lantern shark says when it's no more specialed, I can special summon a level three, four, five water monster from my hand and defense. Um, so it's almost like a 10 goldfish. Now, I can't activate this if I bring this little buzzsaw because I can't activate its effects. But the cool thing about buzzsaw and lantern is that they can be used for a water exceeds level three, four, or five. And that's how we get into lancer. Lancer is level five water, but we can use these as level five if need be. So that's how we get lancer out. And if we do activate any of their effects, we're locked into Xyz. So this is our base, our, our only like lock for the deck is this right here. So other than that though, you know, if you spam out monsters from either way, you can go into any links or synchros you want, or you want to go into. But we activate these, which we don't really will, we are locked into water Xyz. Well, just Xyz, no water, just Xyz. Next we play some extenders. Silent Anger is a great extender. All you have to do is control a water monster. You control a water monster and you can spell some of this from your hand. Simple as that. Level four, boom. You have yourself two level fours right there. The only problem is that its restriction is you can't spell something from your hand for the rest of the turn. So make sure that like Lantern Shark can spell something from the hand when it's normal specials. Just make sure you get this out, activate that, bring something from your hand, and then bring out this last. Otherwise, you're gonna be locked in. And speak of ten goldfish like effect, we run three ten goldfish. It really sucks. It's not. A, it's not a fish. It really does suck because we have things that need it to be a fish in order for it to activate but you know it is what it is you know it's it's an easy level four water so we can normal this you know bring out whatever you know then we can special summon lantern activate that special summon you know bus saw if you want then finally at the end we have you know we drew a hard drew side angler boom now we have you know two easy exit monsters we can go into and then we play three AC's Remora. This is an incredible card, like really, really good card. So what this says is that I can detach two materials from monsters I control to special summon them out from the hand. Then I can target two fishes from the graveyard and then bring them out and negate their effects. So if I have this in my hand, right? I have, let's say I normaled, right? Now specialed right from the deck. Then I go into Lancer, right? Because they can use level five, right? And then with Remora, I can special by detaching two materials, then target the two fish, because they're a fish, and then bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. So then I can go into my Bahama Shark, activate, detach, and then go into Toad. And let's just say I have my Silent Angler in my hand or any other, any extender I need, bring them out, boom. Now I have another one, you know, low level four. So that can be your Honor Arc if you're going second, your Abyss Dweller, whatever you want. Like, so this is what I mean by you can like spam out Xyz is pretty easy. And I like how I just showed you guys the entire extra deck basically, even though we haven't got the extra deck. Good job, me, good job, me, good job, good job. So anyways, we play three Remoras for sure. Next we play three, Butuniful Princess, and this is also an incredible card. So what it says is that when it's normal special, I can banish it, then special summon any level four or lower fish monsters from the deck. So it basically searches out all of our fishes. Like it, it searches everybody, everyone. Everyone can be brought out from this. Except to goldfish because he's a machine, which sucks. But typically, we're gonna bring out with princess. We're gonna bring out buzzsaw. That's your target. 
Then with Buzzsaw, because his effects are negated, Prince is under its effect, I can bring out Lantern. And then from there, you know, climb for where I need to go. And so that's, uh, those are our fishes. Those are our fishes. Almost. Gotcha. So next we play two white stingrays. I'm not a fan of running three because in order to special summon this, I have to, deta I have to discard a water monster. And sometimes you'll go through a lot of water monsters quickly in your in your opening hand. So I don't have the resources to really be discarding too much. I try not to I try not to run too many of, of white stingrays. So I like I like two. Two I think is a good ratio. Um, so yeah, I just play two for that reason. And oh, and I'll hear the second effect also when he he's revived from the grave, he can be treated as a tuner. So, so we play so many extenders, he can easily come from the grave if you you know get him out from the grave, do a monster born or whatever. And treat him as a tuner, and it's an activated effect. And then go into bring something out, maybe normal, I don't know, whatever you want to do. And then you have an easy, you know, level eight synchro, you know, or however else you want to do it. Next is I play one double fin and one Xyz dolphin. Double fin allows me to, when it's normal summon, target level three or four water fish monster and special summon defense. And its effects are negated. I'm not too crazy about this card because it's in for like the late game and it's only give me a plus one. And on top of that, it's only when it's normal. Like if it's special, it can't activate that effect. So that's why I only like to play one of them. Xyz Dolphin is not too bad. He's all right, I think he's worth playing one also. He says that when it's, whenever I Xyz summon, I can special summon from hand. And if I had, let's say, let's say he's in the graveyard, if he's in the graveyard, and I were to have an Xyz monster, I can attach him from the graveyard as a material, which is all right. But you can't use both of them in the same turn, which sucks. So that's why that's that's the only reason why I think he's he's only worth running like at one. So so it's not bad for the next turn or to be able to get another material out there. Or let's just say you just need a normal, you know, like you already have specials, you know, out of the field, you want a normal, one, you know, that's a little forward there. Next we're going to the spells, upstart. Because running 39 cards is better than running 40. So, simple as that. We run one for one. This is for our beautiful princess. Since she acts as if she's everyone. So, boom. Boom, boom. And then we go into our bus off shark from there. Next, we play Monster Reborn. Because Extender, you know. We have anything for the grave. Bring it out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Plus, we can bring out other monsters. So, I mean, if we're facing zombies. Hey, bring out their Doom King. You know, Wreck. Wreck have it. You know. So that's it, we play two savages. We're allowed to, with this, we can target two water monsters with 1500 less attack from the graveyard, add it to your hand. Here's the heartbreaking part about it. Buzzsaw is 1600, not 15. You can't use savage to target a buzzsaw, which really, really, really sucks. Hey, it is what it is, you know, so keep that in mind. Next we play two white for savage. These are, this is an amazing card. This is such an amazing card. What it does is, once per turn, I can target a fish monster in my graveyard, add it to my hand. So every single turn, I can just keep snatching cards from the, from the graveyard to my hand and keep moving forward from there, which is really cool. And if your opponent destroys this card, you can special summon any fish monster from your deck onto the field. Or if I want to, I can add it to my hand. So if it's on their turn, probably add it to their hand because you know our fishes are pretty weak. Um, but if it's on my turn, they pop it, then I'm definitely gonna special summon it. So it, it's a, it's a, it's definitely a plus, definitely worth. I, I almost want to run it at three, but I've had times where I did run it at three at one time where it just, I had already one there and you know, I had like one in my hand then I'm just keep bringing cards in my hand. Like I just didn't need that extra Wi-Fi salvage. So I think running two is, is a good number. And then we play rank up magic and we have targets for that we'll get into later on. For our traps, we do Xyz Revive. Um, it says we, I can target a rank four or lower Xyz monster from the grave, so there's summon it. So it's a monster reborn for rank four or lower Xyz's. And then it's, and after that, it's treated as, as a water. It becomes, it's a tribute from the water. It's got second effect, and of course each of them, you know, once per turn, you know, so I can't activate both at the same, on the same turn. But what I can do is I can banish it, and I can basically rank up an Xyz. So, because it says 
I can banish it from the graveyard, target a water Xyz monster I control, or special summon from my extra deck one water Xyz monster that is one rank higher. So it's basically a rank up. And our other traps. Now, I'm, I didn't include Ghost Ogre in the monsters because this is optional. All this is whatever you want it to be. So this is my disruption pack. This is like my disruption. So um, I'm a budget player, you know, even though it's imperm here, you know. Um, I play Ghost Ogre, you know, simple as that. You know, pop a card, you know, field spell, continuous, a monster, you know, at least it gets disrupted. It's budget, the card's like two bucks right now, it's nothing. Psalm Strike, great for, I guess, monster effects. You know, this is a going first deck, as you can tell by all the traps. So it's just great to stop monsters, you know. Um, especially with Zexel, you know, plaguing, you know, decks out there. Psalm Strike is just satisfying. Uh, Imperm. Because it's Imperm. It's an awesome card. It's, it's Imperm. I mean, even though it's a casual deck, you know, I just I just really wanted to run, run one Imperm in there. I don't have many, but I just really want to run like one of them. Tiny Slider because it just never goes away. It just keeps coming back over and over and over again. So I think it's a great card to play at least one of. And for some back row hate, we have Heavy Jump Storm Twister. Yeah, I could play Twin Twister, you know, and I do have it in a side deck, you know, but if, if I'm... About to make if, if they're about to make me go second, I will you know side in to a twister. But I once again like you know white stingray. We we don't want to discard many cards for twister. I don't want to pitch a card because I don't have much resources to go for. You know, so I try to go for the budget version. Hey, sword dust, you know, pop two cards. You know, use on, use on their turn hopefully. Oh yeah. So once again, these are these are whatever your disruptions are. Like if I could, if I could, if I had like. You know, if I could, I would do like three imperms, you know, and like three ashes. You know, like if I could, three imperms, three ashes, and then probably still run a Titan Cider or maybe a Solemn, you know. So, budget, you know, whatever, whatever you yourself you like, you know, Lost Wind, MST, you know, do your thing, man, do your thing. So, let's go into the extra deck. We're gonna play Mega Clops. Yes, he's not a water, he's not a fish, he's the exact opposite of a water fish. He's a giant earth machine. But he is a goddamn boss. He is a boss. He's a 4,000 attack beater and a link 3. But he requires 3 Aziz monsters to get into him, which we can do easily. We can easily spam it. You're not going to end on him because, typically, because remember that our Buzzsaw Shark and our Lantern? Both lock us into Xyzes. So if you use them, you're not going into Mega Clops. Other than that though, you can still you can still get him out. I'm wrong, you can still get him out. But he's more of a turn two if need be, if you have to, you know. And this thing is an absolute monster. Like literally, he's, he's a monster, you know. So but so this is what he does. One, he's unaffected by monster effects except Xyz monsters. And he can't be destroyed by battle except with Xyz monsters. So like no, nothing's getting over this guy, like, you know, like, easily. Like, it's gonna be, he's kind of painful to get over. So, and here, here's like the best part about him. Once per turn, I can target an Xyz monster in my graveyard, right? And then a, a card my opponent controls. Special summon my Xyz, and then use their card as material. Now, it says card. Not monster, not trap, not, not field spell. And card. So I can take... I can snatch their field spell, I can snatch a set card, I can snatch anything I want, you know, as long as it's targetable, and use this material, and I get back, you know, whatever Xyz monster I used to get in the first place. So he takes up three Xyzes, but I get one of them back. Um, only drawback, which is not too bad, is any damage that my opponent takes is halved for that turn. Uh, it's worth it, 100% worth it. You know, you bring this out, you know, it's time to enter scoop phase. You know, your opponent just surrenders and cries, and you laugh. Because that's what you do, because it's Mega Clops. So we play one Mega Clops. We play one Corn Enemy. She's a generic Water Monster. Simply target a Water Monster 1500 less attack or 1500, not 16, but all, and then throw summon it. But its effects are not negated. So if I want to, I can bring out Lantern and use effect and bring another monster from the hand. I don't use her too much. I might have taken her out because. I, I just don't go into it too much. If I, have, if I have two level four waters, I'm also going to you know a rank four, you know, situation given, you know, but still worth having in there. 
Next we play Shark Lancer. Shark Lancer is awesome. You know, this is one of the new shark cards we got. Even though it's a beast warrior for some reason, whatever. So what Shark Lancer does is I can target a monster my opponent controls, detach a material from an Xyz monster I control, and destroy that. Now it says I can I can detach mon I can detach material from an Xyz monster I can controls. Not himself, if he be. So if I have a Bahama shark with two materials on it, because apparently we have traps materials, paleo frogs. So if I have material, I can detach Bahama shark's material to pop a card. I can do that with that. This has, that's the cool part about that first play with the whole going into those four, because even though, like, remember if you rewind the video, we saw uh, Lancer was bald and Bahama Shark had one the toad there. Lancer's still live. It's still live because as long as anyone has a material attached to it, you can detach, target, and pop a card. On top of that, you have the toad there too. So it's amazing. It's great. So we run we run two Lancers for sure. I think it's worth running at two for sure. Next we play two Bahama Sharks. Um, only two because just because our targets aren't, we don't have too, too many of them. Uh, toad, obviously. We obviously gotta do Toad. You know, Bomb Shark, we do Toad. Always have to. You know, I'm gonna gate, and I get to snatch and steal it. Enough said. It's it's a soft one per turn. So if Bomb Shark goes to the grave and I somehow bring him out again, he can activate it all over again if he has material. So, and then I can easily go into Bomb Shark, activate. If I somehow get another one out, activate it all over again. You want to draw back? You can't attack if you use that effect. So, FYI. Um, another target we have for Bomb Shark is. Barbarian Shark. This is our rank up searcher, pseudo searcher, sort of. Barbarian Shark says, if he's sent to the graveyard, I can choose a rank up spell and add it to the top of the deck. So this is our other target for Bahama Shark. What I'll do is I'll bring out Barbarian Shark and then overlay into Black Gray Lancer. <coughs> oh man, need some water. <sighs> so, um, I'll bring a River Baron Shark using Bama Shark and then overlay into a Ray Lancer. And then, once again, if we have Shark Lancer and I detach, pop a card, Barbarian Shark activates, and I can get my rank up, up there. Also, we play a, another Lancer, Crystal Zero. And Crystal Zero, we can bring her out easily by using overlaying for a rank five water. So I can bring out Shark Lancer, go over to Crystal Zero, and she has two main effects. Uh, the first one is she gains 500 attack for every material attached. So with one material, she'll have 27 off the bat. So it's a nice little beater, 27. And she's another one where once per turn I can detach material from her, and all of my face-up monsters that my opponent controls have their effect negated, which is a really awesome card. So that's cool. It's cool to have just in case you want to overlay into it, you know. And for our rank up targets, we have on arc 101 and C101. We all know what on arc does: detach the materials, snatch from a monster. Silent on arc, on the other hand allows us to snatch up a special summon monster without detached material. So we simply just target a special summon monster that they control and attach it as material. And as another cool effect where if it's destroyed instead of the graveyard, while it has Xyz material, I can special summon it back onto the field and gain life points until equals the original attack, which is 2800. So if he gets popped while he has material on it, he comes right back. And then hopefully he's alive for the next turn, and then I, I snatch another monster all over again. So it's, it's it's a great card, definitely an improvement from the regular 101. So that's our uh, that's our rank up target. Our generic level fours, rank fours, abyss lock out the grave, gets the bonus attack because we're using his water, and then spider shark. Spider shark is awesome because this is your battle phase controller right here. So it says that when any uh, any player becomes an attack. I can detach material and all monsters my opponent controls lose a thousand attack. Non targeting, it just they all just straight up lose a thousand. So 
Um, unless they have something at 3700, they're not beating over Spider Shark, which is really, really, really cool. And it has another cool effect where it says, when this card is destroyed by a battle card effect instead of the graveyard, I can target one other monster in my graveyard, spell summon it, just like that. So, another body right there and there. So, that's pretty sweet. So, if I want to, somehow, boom, there you go. See, he's back. If he was there in the first place. Oh, and uh, one more thing I forgot. Lancer. Lancer has an effect where if a water uh, exceeds monster I control is destroyed by battle or card effect, will I control him? I can take any spell from my deck, any single spell, and place on top of the deck. So, if I haven't done already with, like, if I haven't gone into Rebarium, I can, and a monster is destroyed, I can easily get the rank up right on top of the deck. Or any spell that you want. And for our last Xyz is Utopic Future. Utopic Future is a, is a pretty cool card. What it does is it needs two Xyz monsters with the same rank, which we easily spam out level fours, or rank fours. And it says that it can't be destroyed by battle, and no one takes battle damage involving that card. And at the end of the damage step, if that card, if this card battled an opponent's monster, I can take control of that monster into the end phase. If the effects aren't negated or anything, I can, it's mine until the end of the battle phase. So I can attack into a monster, snatch it, and then attack with his own card, which is degenerate, but it's worth it. So uh, that's what this does. And if it, it will be destroyed by battle card effect, oh, if it, if it be destroyed by, by card effect, because it can't be destroyed by battle, I can detach the material from it instead. So what I'll do is you can, if you, let's just say I have my Bama Shark, right? I detach material, right? And I bring out Barbarian, right? Then I overlay into Ray Lancer. I have two level fours, same, same rank. So I will use them as material for Utopic Future. This gets sent to the grave because its materials don't go along with it. Only the only the cards themselves. So this barbarian was material for Ray, Ray Lancer. Ray Lancer comes over here. He goes to the grave. So that's how that's how I trigger him to get my rank up on top of the deck. It's going to do a future. And after that, we can just battle from there. And I have on my next draw phase, I have my rank up, and that's it. And once we get that OCG Utopic card, it's gonna be even like more insane because I don't relate to that. But that's that's for the future, you know. But that's it though. That's it. That's the uh, deck right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay casual.